everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Morgan and this is Makeup by Morgan. And for today's video, I will be using one of the palettes from Milani's new Alter Ego collection. So they have these two palettes here. This one is the Beautiful Nightmare, which I'll be using in my next video. And then this one is the Fairy Tale palette. So here's what the inside of the palette looks like. It's very pretty, sparkly, and pastel. So I'm very excited to get into it. To start, I'll be taking my Revlon Candid Concealer in the shade Light Pale. And I will be blending that using my Beauty 360 Makeup Sponge. Now I'll be setting that using my Maybelline Super Stay Powder, and I'm taking a large fluffy brush to go all over my face. And then just over the places that I put my concealer, I'll be taking a smaller fluffy brush. For bronzer today, I'll be going into this Nicole Miller Glow Palette, and I'll be taking this center shade as well as the bottom corner shade. To contour, I'll be staying in the same palette, and I'm going to use this shade here. Um, I'm sorry this palette doesn't have any shade names, so I'll just point out all the shades because I can't name them for you. For blush, I'll be mixing two shades. So one of the shades is the ColourPop Press Powder Blush in the shade Night Bloom, and then the other one is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. So I'll just be taking this fluffy brush from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection and tapping into both of those. Okay, so for the eyeshadow, I've planned a very shimmery, colorful look, so I'm going to be using a few different highlight shades. So I'm going to be going into the Anastasia Moonchild palette, and I'll first be taking the shade Purple Horseshoe on the outer portion of my cheekbone. For the inner portion, I'll be taking the shade Pink Heart. And then on my nose, I'll be taking the shade Lucky Clover. Now to blend my highlight with my blush, I'll be taking the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Rosa Romantica, and I'm taking that on the same brush. For eyebrows, I'll be using my usual brow product, which is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. Okay, now going into the fairy tale palette, I will be starting the eyeshadow using the shade here, which is Baby Doll. Now to deepen my crease, I'll be taking the shade Ever After, and I'm taking that on this Nightmare Before Christmas brush. Okay. 
Okay, so I put that both in the deeper part of my crease and a little bit on the outer portion of my lid. And now I'll just be going back into the first shade that I used, Baby Doll, to blend that out. Now I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to take the shade Ever After and put that on my lower lash line. Okay, and now with my finger I'll be taking the shade Enchanted and I'm going to put that on the outer portion of my lid. For the center of my lid, I'll be taking the shade Sugar Skull. And then for the inner portion as well as the inner corner, I'll be taking the shade Spellbound. And then with a small flat brush, I will be taking the shade Sugar Daddy on my brow bone. For eyeliner, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Coal Pencil in the shade Baby's Got Black for my tight line. And the shade You're Always White for my waterline. Now I'm going to be doing a winged liner with the NYX Vivid Brights in the shade Vivid Petal. Now I'm going to take this angled brush from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection and I'm going to use that to put this Tarte Liquid Sea Glass in the shade Sweet Life over that line. Okay, so now I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up but that just added a little extra shimmer to the liner and now I'm going to be adding my mascara using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Now I'll be adding the falsies using these magnetic ones from the Urban Lash. Okay, so here are the completed eyes. Before I do my lipstick, I'm just going to add a little extra glow using this ColourPop Glisten Up Mist. Now for lipstick, I'll be using this Milani Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream. Okay, so here is that lipstick. Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't find the shade name on the lipstick tube, so I'm going to try to go online and find it and put it in the description for you guys. So here is what that looks like. I don't know if the camera is picking up the metallicness or not. And then over that, I'm going to be taking the Lip Slut Snowflake Lip Gloss. Okay, so here is the completed look. I will also uh, zoom in a little bit. Okay, so here it is zoomed in. Okay, so that is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun creating it. it makes me feel like a fairy princess being all sparkly and pastel. 
So if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video using the other Milani Alter Ego palette, which is the beautiful Nightmare palette. Thank you! Thank you.